So in this segment, we'll be talking about basic X-Core programming, and we'll go through all the dial features, and we're going to learn how to set up the current time and day in the controller, and we'll also learn how to set up the three ingredients for a complete program, which is the start times, the run times, and the days to water. We'll also be covering the rest of the dial positions, seasonal adjustment, solar sync settings, manual operation, and the system off position. As well, we'll cover how to use the green square buttons and green triangles to navigate through the display. So we've plugged in the X-Core controller and you'll notice that the current time of day is flashing. It shows 12 o'clock, so we're gonna start by setting to begin with current time and day, and that's the information of today. We're going to use the buttons up here to do so, and there's the plus and the minus button, and we're going to use those to change up or down whatever is flashing. We can use the right arrow or the left arrow to scroll backwards or forward through the different choices. The PRG button is to be changed from programs A to B to C, but we'll make those selections at a, at a later moment in the video. For right now, it's current time and day. The year is flashing. We hit the plus button to 2011. Then we'll use the right arrow and you have the month and the day. So the month is flashing. Once again, plus or minus changes the selection. And we'll go to August, and we'll hit the right arrow, and this is the day. So we'll just use the plus button and go up to August 4th. Use the right arrow to advance to the next option. Remember, we're still under current time and day. The next option is AM, PM. You can go plus to PM, plus to 24 hour mode, plus to AM, or you can go backwards through the three choices. So right now it's PM, so we'll leave it on PM. Use the right arrow and we'll go over to the hour of the day. And we're gonna say that it's one o'clock. Right arrow to the minutes, and you're gonna use the plus button to put the appropriate minutes on. That's the last feature, so when we hit the right arrow, it goes back to the year again, 2011. So that tells us we're done with setting the current time and day. You can take the dial, put it back to run, and you can verify what you've put in. It'll show the minutes, the hour, a.m., p.m., and as well along the bottom of the screen, the day of the week should coincide with what today is. So to explain further the use of the different programs A, B, and C, we made a little chart here. It's kind of like a tic-tac-toe board. And we have columns A, B, and C. And in this example, we're not putting anything in program C. But you'll notice that each of the programs has all three ingredients, start time, run time and days to water. And we're going to take our run times, which is here for our individual stations or zones, and we're splitting them up over two programs. Reason being, stations three and four, they have a different watering day requirement. We've got to be five days listed for the fruit trees on stations three and four. Stations one and two is the grass zone, and they only water on Tuesday and Thursday. So because they have different day requirements than does stations three and four every five days, we're going to split them over different programs. So now we'll move the dial down to the start time position. And under start time's position, you'll notice that it shows program A in the screen and start time one. Now this start time one is not station one or zone one as people call them. This is the controller start time. So it's the first time that program A is gonna start cycling. And we're gonna use uh, 1030 for program A to start cycling. So we're gonna use the minus button and go backwards to 1030 PM in the top left, top right corner there. So now we know that program A's his first cycle start is 1030 PM. You can use the right arrow to go to the second cycle start, or the right arrow to the third, right arrow to the fourth, and right arrow back to one. You only get four cycle starts per program. These are not stations or, or zones. These are when the controller program starts cycling. You may have six, seven, or eight zones. You only get four starts per program. So now that we've got the one start time in program A, we can move the dial to the run time position, and these are the individual zones or stations in your yard. We're going to include station one, program A. We'll give him 10 minutes because he's going to live here on program A. And then we'll use the right arrow to advance to station number two, which might be the other half of the front grass. And we'll give him 10 minutes. 
And these are the only two stations that we're going to invite in program A under the runtime position. Right arrow goes to station 3, we're going to leave him blank. Station 4, station 5, this may be a 6 zone or a 7 or 8 zone controller, but we're only inviting station 1 and 2 to this program. At the end of all that, you're going to have a total runtime for that program. In this instance, it showed 20 minutes. So now we'll go to the water days position, and these are going to be the water days for program A. You'll notice that it starts out with a blinking water drop over Monday. Right now, all days have a water drop, so it's going to be watering seven days a week. For water day selection, plus means yes and minus means no. If we want to water on Monday, we'd hit the plus, but we're going to go Tuesday, Thursday. So it's blinking every Monday, we use minus to say no water on Monday. Tuesday, the cursor moves over right to Tuesday, we hit plus. The cursor jumps to Wednesday, we'll use the minus to say no. On Thursday, we say plus for yes. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll say minus, minus, and minus. So the cursor does jump back to Monday blinking. Don't be alarmed, that's just the cursor saying, hey, here I am, do you want to change me? So once you've got a water drop over Tuesday and Thursday, those are the two water days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll have a circle with a line through them. Those are the non-water days. So now program A is complete. The letter A is still shown on the screen. We have start times, we have run times, and water days all in program A. We can turn the dial back to the run position, and program A is complete.